Welcome to Writing Tips with Picture Book Author Ken Baker. Today we're going to talk about picture book plot focus. Often beginning picture book writers make the mistake of trying to accomplish too many things in their story. They might create too many plots, take the story in random directions, or relate things that aren't really relevant to the main story idea. Hi, hi Martin. Hey, there's an alligator in my oatmeal. Yuck. I guess I'll have toast instead. Hey, Billy, want to play football? Oh, I love football. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. I'm bored. Do, 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 do. I wish I wasn't so short. I want a cookie. Oh, no. I almost forgot I need to practice for the dance competition. Twirly twirl, twirly twirl, twirly twirl, twirly twirl. Hey, Mom, have you seen my boots? I'm going to be late for school. While it might be fun, having so many different things going on in your story often not only results in a story that is too long for a picture book format, but it usually leaves the reader wondering what the story is really about. With the short length of picture books, you typically need to stick with a single plot. You don't have room to develop multiple plots. You also can't waste valuable word count on anything that doesn't move that plot forward. You need to decide what your story is really about and focus on that for your plot. For example, I could have Arnold focus on how to deal with the alligator. Help! There's an alligator in my oatmeal! What do I do now? Once you decide what your story is really about and you introduce that plot, you just need to make sure you spend the rest of the story showing us how the protagonist resolves the plot problem. To find out how Arnold resolves the problem of having an alligator in his oatmeal, join me next time when I talk about creating plot tension. That's all for now.